The correct focus of your laser is necessary for the best engraving and cutting performance of your laser. Here we'll walk through the steps on how to find the best focal point through a simple new procedure right at your laser. To use the focus wizard, you will need firmware version 1.1.2.1 or higher. Select the settings gear icon. Long press the word settings to open the submenu for settings. Next, select the focus wizard. On Fusion Pro systems, you may see a screen asking for the lens aperture size. This is the width of the lens assembly at the machine. Select 1.0 or 0.75 as applicable to your system. You will see several options depending on the configuration of your system. Table, CO2 focus, fiber focus, and autofocus. Press the CO2 focus button to start the focus wizard. The next screen has two buttons, proceed and advanced. The advanced option allows you to manually move the table up and down to the optimal height. To use the wizard, click proceed to continue. If using the standard lens, two or three inch, click standard. If using the 1.5 or four inch lens, click advanced. For the standard procedure, use a piece of anodized aluminum at least two inches by 2.75 inches in size. Anodized aluminum is the best option for this procedure. Click the trace button on the screen and move the piece of aluminum under the trace area. Once you're happy with the placement of the aluminum, press the proceed button. Next, we need to adjust the table to the approximate focus height. You can either press the prepare button to set the height using the current autofocus height or manually adjust the table to the approximate height using the focus gauge. After focusing the table, press the proceed button to continue. The wizard will ask you to close the lid of the machine. Press the proceed button once the door is closed. The laser will first engrave a number of calibration marks from zero to 50 then it will slowly raise and lower the table height to find the optimal focal distance. When you examine the finished engraving, you are looking for the brightest point of the engraving. These are very small adjustments, so you can approximate the best point. Enter the number with the row you think is the brightest white and press the proceed button. The system will ask if you want to calibrate the autofocus to this height now. Select yes. Move the carriage over the aluminum piece and press the proceed button to autofocus the system. And your autofocus is set. Place your manual focus gauge on the system and adjust it to the same focus height so your manual and autofocus settings will match. If you are using a dual source system, Repeat this process for the fiber laser source by pressing fiber focus. Advanced mode. If you do not have anodized aluminum on hand, you can manually complete the process with another material that has high contrast by pressing the advanced mode. Press the yes button to continue. Place a piece of material that is at least two inches by two inches in size into the machine, such as a piece of two ply plastic. Enter the height of the material and press proceed. Enter the speed and power settings you use for this material and press proceed. Insert your material in the system and press trace. Once you're happy with the placement, press proceed. The laser will begin engraving. Move the table up and down until you see the highest contrast mark and press the proceed button on the screen. And you're done. Your focus has been calibrated. Thanks for watching and check out more training videos at support.epiloglaser.com.